Hello and welcome to Evil Bank Manager. This is a strategy game being developed by Hamsters Gaming, who is sponsoring this video, all about running a banking empire during the Renaissance. Uh, now, it kind of plays out like a grand strategy game, but rather than being one of the nations building armies and, and conquering lands and building fortresses, we are kind of behind the scenes. We're one of the banks that's uh, investing in properties. Uh, if all goes well, we'll start getting some resources in. Maybe we'll buy a farm or a factory. Uh, if we are ambitious, we'll take those resources and we'll start maybe producing weapons. Uh, if we're lucky, some folks will go to war and we can uh, sell those weapons we just made and make some cash. So, uh, yeah, kind of a behind-the-scenes grand strategy. Uh, let's take a look at it, see what it's all about. It's been on Steam for about a month now. I'll have a link below. Uh, first off, we have to choose our nation. Now, this is basically just choosing where we want to begin. Um, we don't actually choose... We don't actually start... You know, we're not actually the nation. We just begin in a country somewhere, in a region somewhere. Uh, if we, for instance, choose England here, it's cheaper to maintain branches in England, and we can also expand a little bit cheaper. France, same thing, it's cheaper in France, and they have more influence in politics. We have, we can influence these uh, these nations, maybe we want to go to war, because we like war. War means money for us. Uh, the militarist, these uh, regions with a player's branch troop growth is 20% faster. We can, we kind of want to influence these nations to go, to fight, and we'll see all that in a minute. Uh, let's go, let's just be England here, and start up. I'm going to go easy level, because we begin with a little extra cash. And it's a little bit easier to get a little bit quicker start so we can kind of see more of the game here. All right. So we don't have a main branch just yet. I'm going to skip the tutorial because I know what I'm doing. Oh, name of bank. Very important. Um, we're going to be the bank of... Bank of money. Okay. Now let's go to the map first and see what's going on here. So this is, of course, very... Uh, CK2, EU4 kind of style. And it's going to play out like that. They're going to go to war and these, these countries will sort of start... Uh, taking new lands and, and fighting and all that. Uh, but first we must choose where we want to begin. Now if you look at these regions, uh, we got uh, Russia up here. Um, we can't afford that one. How about, um, you see how much these places cost. So the, the tutorial puts you in, Eng or in Ireland over here. So Ireland, let's click on Ireland. There's a lot of numbers here. Obviously this is a numbers game, it's a banking game. Now one of the important things over here, they have luxury resources in wool. Which means that, I think it's wool or furs, one or the other. Which means that if we build our bank here, there's also no competitor banks here, it could be just us, um, we'll probably get some wool factories or something that we can, or sheep farms that we can invest in. I think what I want to do, uh, by the way, we can go all the way to the east, and uh, we can start over here in, in Japan if we wish. We can pretty much start anywhere. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you start over in India, you have all kinds of things going on here in India because there's so many little countries. Same thing with, with Europe here, with, with the... Uh, with the here in the central and the Germanic states. Um, let's go with... I'm going to go with Scotland here. Scottish Highlands. 41 grand. I like the sound of that. We've got furs here. Um, we have a decent-sized army, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to open a bank here in Scotland. Okay. Bank opened. Let's go check out our bank. Here it is. All right. Now, first thing we have to do is hire some employees. We've got 33 grand now. Let's go get some folks to work for us. We've got four different... Um, areas of banking. We have our investments and our credits. These are sort of the money makers. We have to hire people to go work these for us. We also have espionage, which is like our diplomacy branch. Um, I guess we can do some dirty things as well. And we have guards. These are uh, these are the goon squad that goes out and, uh, you know, breaks people's necks for uh, not paying back their debts. Let's go work on finding some folks to work in our company. So we're going to get some uh, some pros to work on investment branches. we got to look at this I number. We want it to be high. So Benjamin Galbraith Sure, it's good. He costs 96 bucks. He, we pay him 12 bucks uh, a turn. Sure, you're hired, buddy. Go be an investor. Now we got a creditor. We want someone with a good C, and that's Caleb Salomon. Sure, come on in, Caleb. You're hired. Espionage. I will take. We need something better than Arnold. Arnold doesn't do espionage. That beard's too fancy. How about? Um, cost me 60 bucks each time I click this button. There we go. Edwin Palmer with a five. Yeah, yeah. You're hired, buddy. Get in there. And now guards. I don't need one of these just yet, but we'll need some soon. Earl Higgins. Yes. All right, Earl. Okay, so we now are... Uh, we have people working for us now. Um, there's not much we can really do on this first turn because we've just entered the workforce. There's nothing going on right now. There's really not any other banks. I don't think it's just it's just us down here at the bottom. Uh, the bank of money at the very bottom. We have no value because no one else is really in here yet. Um, let's just go ahead and skip the turn, and then we'll see some things happen. Okay, no events yet. No one has gone to war yet. There's no wars in the world. It's going to be very important when that happens, though. Invest in property. Okay, so here we are in Scotland. 
You can see the highlands are very purple. Let's take a look at investment options, opportunities. We can only do one of these per turn, but we've got two investment opportunities. We have a logger's hut that someone's looking to sell for two grand, and also a fur-bearing animal farm for eight dollars. Means it's not going to do much. It's probably someone's house. So I will take the logging camp. Let's buy that. All right, so now we own ourselves a logging camp. Um, what we can do in time, if we don't want that logging camp anymore, maybe we want to sell the thing. Um, we bought it for, um, what, 25? And we can sell it for 23. So, if, you know, we lose money on that. But as, turn, as time goes on, property values will go up or down. And so that's something to pay attention to. Um, but it's going to bring us wood, and we can start selling the wood. Um, let's go look here at this place, credits. So, Scotland... Would like to per would like us to lend them some money. I'll get 5.9% interest. Yeah, yeah, for four turns. Sure. Here you go, buddy. Have some cash. Uh, now there's there's the thing coming out. Now if they don't pay us back, then we're gonna stick knives in people's hands. Okay. Anything else to do? Now we can, of course, we can go and upgrade things. We'll see all this in a minute. So let's go ahead and cruise on through here next turn. Again, every turn we're gonna probably get some new investment opportunities. We got a house. Someone's wanting to sell. We can buy a house. Sure, I'll buy a house. Why not? Why not? Now we've got some wood now, thanks to our logging camp. Now with that wood, what we could do is we could come to the exchange and we can sell it off. I think wood's pretty much a fixed price. We could sell off all 88 pieces of wood that we have made and make 176 quick, quick bucks. Or, or, we can go to the armory over here and we can buy bows or crossbows. We can make them. We can take the wood and make things out of it. Let's make some crossbows. Yeah, I'm going to order some crossbows to get made. So then, we're going to stock a bit of a stockpile of weapons and you'll see why we're doing that in a moment. Um, I think we can... Is there another... You guys want another loan? No, no. No, no loans. Okay. Alright. Uh, next turn. Um, yep. We're going to keep on... Nothing really going on early on. It's kind of a slow start as we get into this. Things will happen. We got another house. I don't want any dang houses, but I'll buy it. Um, okay, next turn. Where's all the wars happening at? One thing we should do. Let's go take a look at countries here. So we're in Scotland. Um, right now, they don't really care about us. I want to go into espionage here. And they don't really care about us. Like, they're neutral. But we can use some influence and just, you know, chat with them. Say, hey, 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 friend. We like you. Um, we can in invest in in uh, some some um, real estate. Let's buy some. Yeah, let's, let's help them out a little bit. They'll like us a little more. The more they like us, if we get enough influence, we can in encourage them to go to war. Which would be good for us if we have a lot of weapons. Remember, the uh, minimum acceptable value of banks will be 1,000, which is fine. Okay. Send the guards to collect debts. For uh, someone, did they not pay? Um, debts. They did not pay. Okay, so we can we can recover. I don't quite understand how this works. We can recover or we can take. Um, we're just going to recover this. Basically, they didn't pay. We're going to recover, I guess, what we can. We're going to go scare them off. We sent some fear. You, you know, we went and sent our goons in to go scare them and get our money. Okay, um, we're gonna go use these, this wood. Keep on cranking out some weapons. We're gonna make some more crossbows. Order those up. There's still no wars. What's going on here? Why is everyone so peaceful? Uh, do you guys want more money? No, they don't. Okay. Um, anything here? In, anything? We can invest in another. Oh, oh, a fur camp. An animal farm. Yeah, I'll buy that. Okay, perfect. Uh, next turn. Wealth of the region affects the price of property. Both of the region, the higher the price of the property. Yeah, gotcha. Um, war has begun. Here we go, here we go. In five turns, a battle will take place between the Western Romandy Savoy and Eastern Burgundy Astria regions. Where is this? This is over here. Now here's where this gets interesting. These guys, in five turns, are going go to are gonna go start fighting. So, I want to take advantage of that. Now, Savoy has some friends with him. We've got Switzerland and Salzburg and Nevers with him. Ne Nevers with him. Um, you can see kind of... Where it's swaying in Savoy's favor. We could join in this war. Um, and we're gonna. We're gonna join in the war on the guys that are gonna win. We're gonna sell them some weapons. We sell them here because they sell for a lot more. Because they're going to war. They need weapons. So we're gonna sell them some crossbows. We got 90 of them. There you go. 90 crossbows. We are now a participant in this war. I can also invest some cash. Would you like some cash? Here. I'm gonna give you... I'm gonna... Four grand. There you go. For four grand, they're gonna say, hey, have a house. Well, thanks. I'll take a house. Okay. I now have a house in Savoy. I was hoping for something better than a house, but whatever. Uh, next turn. We've got four turns until this fight's going to work. We can kind of keep an eye on it, make sure that there's not, you know, 
No one else jumps in on this. There's no competitor banks on there either, so make sure we don't lose this fight. Um, the war has begun over there. Um, now, in Scotland here, one thing we could do... Wow, there's, another, there's a competing, competitor bank in my territory? Outrageous! Let's have a meeting. Okay. Okay, just, just a quick meeting. Just give them to like us a lot. Uh, maybe we can kick, the, kick this other bank out of here. Uh, let's go over here and see if we can purchase any investments. We have a land allotment for some grain. Or an iron mine. That's what I want. I want an iron. It's a terrible iron mine, but it's an iron mine. I'll take it. It's not going to make a lot of iron, but I can use that iron and start making some proper weapons. Some, uh, some halberds and some swords, which are good. We like those. Okay. Now, let's see. Anything else? Let's take a look at the research, uh, real estate. See what we've got here. Um, so... I bought this house for 10 grand, right? And we can sell it. Oh, no, I think I bought it for 97. I can sell it for 10. So I can make a little bit of money out of it. Not not really worth it. Um, nothing's really worth anything. I have this this farm. No, let's just go here to the exchange and sell off. Um, um, no, we'll just leave it. Let's go next turn. All right. So make more weapons. Yeah, we got iron coming in now. Let's see. We've got... That's it? Ah, what a terrible farm. I get one, I can make one sword, because it's a terrible mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone's got a shovel in their backyard. Alright, uh, what do we have now? Another animal farm, or a terrible stonecutter's camp? No, I'm gonna buy the, uh, the, the farm. Um, uh, we've got, oh, we're kind of broke right now, aren't we? Alright, so how's this looking? Is it started up yet? How's it, we got three more turns. We seem to be looking, looking like it's gonna be in our favor. Okay. Can okay, I need some cash? I'm going to go one more turn here. Uh, let me go do one thing. Quick way of making some cash here is to go in and take out loans. So Scotland wants a loan. Sure. I'll give you guys a loan. Um, even though you uh, didn't pay last time. Another war over here in... Somewhere in the east. A bunch of wars going on over here. And same thing. We can always invest in all this stuff. Um, war right here. We can invest in this one if you want. Get a, a bank over here who's investing in this one. Um... We can join in on with the bank side. We can. We don't have the cash for it, though. I mean, I got weapons, I guess. Um, um, no, I'm going to save my cash. Because I have an idea for it. Alright, so now let's go back over this way. Um, I kind of need to make some money. So I'm going to go and sell... These... These furs. For 16 grand. There we go. We got 19 grand now. Um, I also want to talk with... With, uh, with old Scotland here and say, hey, how about a meeting? Um, we need 750, I need 783 to get you to like me. If I invest in some industry, what do you say? We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're just trying to get them to like us so we can go to war. Or we'll get them into a war. We want them to go to war with England. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a house. Um, okay, we can also upgrade ourselves. Um, I don't think I need to do it just yet, but we can, of course, we can buy more land. We can, we only have a spot here in Scotland right now, but say we want to go, um, wait, what is this? Wait, what is, I miss, I completely missed this. That's right there. War began in the Scot Scottish lowlands where you have property. Well, this is no good. This is no good. We got to make sure we fight this. When will this happen? Four turns. Okay, we got to invest in here. The bank is also, there's a bank over here helping us out. I'll invest in this too. I'm going to set them some weapons. You can have all the crossbows. You can have my one sword. Yes. All yours. Um, I'm also going to invest a little bit of gold. Why can't I only invest eight gold? I'll invest eight gold. What do you say? I'm going <laughs> to... An iron mine. Okay, there you go. Um, we'll see what we can do in here in a few turns. We're going to keep on cranking out some weapons. The country Savoy, with our support, has able to smash the forces of Austria. Excellent. Our investments in the territory have not lost their value. So if we had bought in, in the loser's territory, our investments would be, you know, terrible. But because we won, and we still have a house down there. Um, it's kind of nice whenever you are able to get something not a house, but uh, like a proper factory of some kind. Um, this is going to be a problem if we don't... There's no more property in the region that your country can pay with for your help. You have no weapons. Okay, we're going to see if we can start just cranking out weapons to help them out. So, I don't... Uh, mm, um, yeah, I'll buy that. And I'll buy Stonecutter's Camp. And I also would like to assist you. Have a loan. Okay. Um... Now, let's see. Keep making weapons. We can make 100 bows. Okay. 
Order those up. We'll send some more in as soon as we can. We got a couple turns, so it's fine. Another turn here. We have... What is, what's what's your next turn? We got another house. I don't want a house. Um, houses are just buy and sell. They do make a little bit of cash for taxes, right? Let's go ahead and lend them some more money. Um, how's this war looking? Two turns to go. I can sell my weapons. I'm going to sell everything I can get to you guys. Okay, we're getting up there. They're, they basically, they're, we're, we're feeding money, feeding weapons into uh, into Scotland, trying to help them fight off the British. The English. Um, anything here I can sell. I have some stone I can, I can dump off. Um, I think I have some luxuries here, too. What do I have luxury-wise? Um, I thought I did. I guess, I guess, did I sell that one off? I guess so. So we have a cottage here we can sell for 2,000 more than we got it for. Mm, I'm going to hold on one more turn. If we lose this fight, it won't be good. Well, the war is on. No one wants to buy property. Oh, okay. After all, it's like buying a burning house. Yeah, so never mind. I won't sell that house. <laughs> I guess. Uh, there's another house. I don't want your dang houses. Um, anyway, you want a loan? Nope, nope, no loans. Okay, let's go to make some weapons here. I'm going to make as much as I can. Make you some bows. And I guess I don't have any iron. Not enough for that. Because uh, my iron mine's terrible. Let's go to the war. This one. And invest. Sell some weapons. Okay, you can have all that. Okay. And I guess I can't give you... I still can't give you any money. I want to give you a weapon. There's no more property in the region I can I can invest in. Okay, it's going to be a close one. Um, I'm assuming, so we can click on this also, we can see their army is 84, uh, and I think that's England's going to be way better. So we're going to lose. We're going to lose. Now we can open a bank here if we had a lot of cash. We could open a bank in England, which would be much better. Um, here it goes. Oh, what? We won? We won? End of war. Scotland won the battle and was able to capture Eastern Ireland. Really? Excellent. We have just grown. We now have claimed a diamond spot. So what that means is not only is our banks, our property going to be worth more because we have grown, um, we should be able to get like maybe like a diamond mine, land allotment, loggers, hut. Um, I'm going to buy, um, I mean, we get more wood, which gives more weapons. I'm going to buy that. Okay. Anyone want a loan? Uh, yeah, you guys always want loans. Okay, I'll give you that. Now, let's go and look at this. So, what can I get you to guys? Oh, it's, my relations have gone way down. Probably because of this other bank. Um, I have a meeting. Get you bumped up there. 710. we got to just remember to keep this, this thing going. I'm going to invest in some agriculture. Okay. I will invest... Oh, I think I did this wrong before. Um, I will invest in Ireland. Yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna, I'll invest in all of them. We'll see what happens here. Okay. All right, next turn. Uh, minimum acceptable is going to be 5,000. We have to make sure we keep basically keep money in our in our uh, in here. We'll move the battle between place between Castle uh, oh, Leon Castile, which is down this way, uh, in Portugal. I'm assuming Castile is going to destroy them. So I'm going to join the war on Castile's side. I'm going to invest. I don't need weapons, I guess. Um, I can get some in there in a minute. Let me go invest a little bit of cash. Not a lot, but just a little bit of money. They're going to give me a silver mine. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, so I have a silver mine down here now. Thanks to them. Uh, let's look at the capital. Let's go and sell. Um, I'm going to sell this cottage off. Give us a little bit of cash there. Um... We have this house in Savoy also that's going down in price. Um, lots of industries we have as well. We have this terrible iron mine, which it does us no good. Um, let's see, everything's looking okay. We don't have any farms here. And I, think I already bought here, didn't I? I didn't. Um, Stonecutter's Guild, a grain farm. I don't have that kind of money. I'm going to buy the grain farm. Just get a, get a bit of grain going. Can I sell some things off? Wood, iron, some stone. I have a ton of stone. Sell this stuff for a lot of money. We have six thousand verse, six thousand um, of resources. Let me go ahead and make some weapons here. Oops. We can also so I didn't really go over the UI here. 
the buttons are here, and they're also down here at the bottom. So the same button basically is here and here. Um, let's go to the armory, so I can go down this way also and go into it. So this is upgrade. We can upgrade our armory, and it helps us crank out more things. Our headquarters have to be level two for that. So let's go do that. So make our headquarters up to level two. Quick upgrade, yeah. Okay, so now we can now upgrade other things like our armory. We're gonna make it a level two armory. Improve it. Okay, that basically just makes us make more things. Um, let's go and make some bows and make some halberds, three halberds for this. Okay. Um, exchange, I'm going to sell off stone. I don't need it, so we're going to sell off all the stone. Um, again, that's kind of a market, so it kind of goes up and down as time goes on. Let's go see what kind of farms we can do. What do we, we bought a grain farm, right? Uh, we just bought it, so it's not going to do anything just yet, but yeah, we can. Let's go next turn. Okay, so go back to this war, which is happening here in oh, a Sweden and Russia war. This one, right? Where's the one we were just we were in? Oh, it's over. Castile won the battle. We'll be able to capture that. Okay, good. We won. Um, if we'd lost, our silver mine would be not very good. Where is it at? Uh, it's going to be in luxury. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Making us some cash. Um, excellent. What kind of uh, industry do we have over here? Uh, logging hut, furs. Let me take a look at industry. I want to I wanna go to war. How do I get you guys to, um... Hmm. I'm going to feed into your industry. Okay. There. Growth infrastructure. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm doing that right. Um, let's see. Yeah. I'm all out of actions. Okay. I'm trying to get to where they like me more, so then they will... I can, I can make them go to war, because I want them to go to war... I think we can just keep on going to war with England. Maybe we can take out Northumbria. Why not? We could easily take out Ireland. No problem. You know what? Why don't I make... Why don't I, or why don't I just build a bank there? Next turn. Why don't I start working in Ireland? I should do that. Um, let's go over here and see if we can sell something worth a lot of money to go buy Ireland. Or buy a camp in Ireland. A, a thing in Ireland. Um, I could sell off the Stonecutter's camp. I think it's actually better to have it, though, and just sell off the resources. Which over here in the exchange. I can sell off all this stone, which is how much? 630. Um, for two, yeah, it's 2,000 bucks each time. So I'm going to sell off um, you and you. Okay. And the wood, we're going to keep on using and making ourselves a weapon. What's going on over here? Oh, Scotland's not paying their debt. Let's recover that. Send some fear. Send our goons in. Let's go uh, let them know what we think about them. Okay. In processing. Yes. Um, what do you have for me? So now we're getting options from uh, Scotland, Scotland, and this Ireland will also... Uh, not Ireland, but we don't have Ireland. But the new Ireland, one that we took, will come in here eventually. Um, let's leave that alone. There's a war going on over here. Okay. Next turn. Let's see here. War began in Eastern Ireland where you have property. Oh, they're going back to war again. Um, it looks like, yeah, England's going back and trying to take this one again. Okay, okay. Not going to happen. Not on my watch. Uh, let's go back here and invest in a bit of weapons. Let's purchase some uh, some bows. A halberd. Okay. I have a lot of money. I don't know if I want to spend all my money on that. What do you have over here? This time, a, a house. A cottage. Um, no, but I'll, I will. Uh, I will uh, give you a loan. No, you don't want that either. I right, got ten thousand. So we got to make sure we invest in this because I don't want to lose this. Let's go here and let's invest on the side of Scotland. Sell our weapons there. Can have all that. That's worth two grand. So we're getting up there. I will invest a little bit of gold. Not a lot, but a little bit. They're gonna give me a logger's hut for it. Sure. I'll take a logger's hut. Okay, the bank of money has entered the war. I'm going to go a couple turns here. Okay, 281 turns until the game is over. Do not uh, have much time. License to the bank expires in 300 moves. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Okay, um, I think I think we got this. We'll do one more turn. We have fought it off. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, excellent. We've taken Northumbria. Now, I have... 
banking lands basically just in Scotland. So this is good for me no matter what. So uh, we can see Northumbria offers, again, gems and furs. The Bank of Gerard is here. I'm not quite sure what we do with the Bank of Gerard. Let me see here. So we're, we're in 20th place right now. Worth 4,300. Where's the Bank of Gerard? Oh, we're in 20th of 21. <laughs> Never mind. Not so good. <laughs> Bank of Gerard's up in 8th place. All right. All right. I understand. Um, we've got a war going on down here. It looks like France is probably going to stomp on Brittany. Um, I don't want to... Um, yeah, you know what? Maybe I can get something out of this. France. Hey, how about I give you, like, um, two grand. Um, a grain farm. Sure, I'll take that. Okay. So now while I'm in here, I can go and I'll have, um, Northumbria. There we go. A stone camp. Or a wood camp. I don't have money for either of those. We're out of money. All out of money. We're broke. Too many wars. I'll lend you guys some cash. So I get some some interest there, and um, how's the old espionage espionage going? Not it's not it's not going at all. We're we're not gonna, we're not going to get there. I think I think what's happening is because the other bank is here, it's causing me problems. Because I did a bit of test, no problem, but I think the other bank is here causing me some grief. Um, you're looking all right. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's probably a good place to call it a day here. Um, let's see here. This is my industry we've got running. And uh, let's see. My real estate, we can sell some things off. We have luxuries over here. We saw that before. Um, these are the houses, so we can sell this off for not a good amount. Um, anybody worth... Anybody, like, increased a lot? No, not really. No, you're terrible. Hmm. All right. Well, so there we go. So thanks again for watching. Again, this is Evil Bank Manager. There's a link below. You can check it out. Uh, and I will see you next time.